I'm Daniel, and this is Coralus West Side. There's been so much going on that I try to keep you guys up to date, but it doesn't get to happen all the time because I'm so busy. Uh, we just received a delivery yesterday, the exact same time we were getting inspection for the building, so it was a little hectic yesterday. So I'm doing my update now. As you guys can see, we have Bashy products all over the place at the moment. The girls are helping me. They are uncovering all the protective paper that they um, have when they ship these and they machine the plastic. So you'll get to see in a few minutes what they really look like without the paper. But just to give you a quick example, they did already peel one off. So let me show you guys this sump. It is incredible. Now I, I think this one is the signature series. So this is Bashi signature series sump and the quality is just so outstanding. I've used other sumps in the past. Um, and I'm not gonna name names, but this one here is top notch and even the probe holders in here are just outstanding. You can slide that in there and your probe will be held. That's a nice soft rubber. They also have a slip in here for the, um, I'm sure that's a dosing pump setup, which is nice. So it keeps your wires um, nice and organized. So that's pretty cool. You could do um, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and maybe some other nutrients or some food. Um, but there you guys go. So that's just a quick tour of the sump. You get to see the water chamber in the back. Uh, it's really cool how they have a cross cut pattern there for the overflow, which should help reduce some of that turbulence. And then it overflows into this sock chamber. And you can just see how every single thing is actually machined with just cool designs and quality. And even this baffle over here is really cool. But, so that's the black and red. There's some blue and gray, blue and black, some red and black, some black and white, some blue and gray. This one's absolutely crazy. I love that one. And just to give you guys a quick comparison um, on other sumps, you know, there's the Red Sea system. And that actually has a glass sump underneath. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Now I am gonna put lights under here in the future, but for right now you can just see this is a glass sump. Um, very nice, that's a good all-in-one system. But those of you hardcore reefers who love to coordinate your plumbing and everything else, check this out. We have PVC that matches each system. So we have our blue, we got our black, we got our red, we got our white. Uh, so it's gonna look pretty awesome. Um, so here's another sump over here, and this one's clear all the way around. This is a pro clear sump. And I'm gonna quick give you guys another tour over here. We are in the process of bringing in, setting up some frags. Um, last time I talked, our ODI system was set up and running. So that's pretty awesome. I do wanna give you a tour on that later, and I will come back to that. You can see all the boxes we have stacked and that we're still unpacking. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Look at these. These twisted skimmers are ridiculous. These beasts are gonna be running the filtration for all our frag tanks. And I'm just excited to show these to you guys because it's gonna be one sweet system. And you can even see the media chambers and uh, pellet reactors and the, the viewing glasses over there on the floor. These things are awesome. These are the six inch ones, and you can get the color to match your sump. So we got red, white, blue, black, different ones. And yeah, guys, I'm just excited about this. This is really cool. Everything is matching, everything is just beautiful. So once they're set up, and I can actually explain to you guys the inner workings of each system and why we chose what we chose, because each frag cart for us is gonna be unique to each species of coral. We're gonna have like SPS and acropores in one tank. We're not gonna be putting anemones in with our acros, it's just not right. So for selling, it's easier for us to do it this way. And each system will be divided by mushrooms, softies, LPS, and all that good stuff. So it'll make it a little bit easier for you when you have a tank to come in here and pick out what is gonna fit in with your tank. Because whatever you're looking at, that whole system is gonna match. So. Check out the store, guys. This is just incredible. Every day, something else goes up, something else comes in, and I'm just excited to share it with you. 
You know, I was working on the custom submarine, you know, table at nighttime, and we ended up changing our mind on it just because we needed room so much that we're probably not going to put the propellers and the extensions off the back and the nose cone because we want to put fish tanks there and use the space wisely. But I am going to airbrush the Nautilus from 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I'm really excited to put that on there. And I also have a special, special Easter egg for those of you who are watching to the very end of the video. One of the vinyl decals on this window over here is going to have an Easter egg. So I will just let you guys know that. You'll have to check back later to find out what it is. But it will be hidden somewhere on this vinyl window. So make sure, make sure you look for it. Um, and this table over here, I just finished the... <laughs> The top of the boat, the boxes for the phone chargers and all that stuff. So this thing's gonna be pretty cool once that gets set up there. It'll complete the table. Um, and I still have these things sitting here. We've been debating on what to put them on just because we're afraid the kids and people will kick them and rip them off. So I decided to get some Velcro and put Velcro on the back. So each one of these will be put up in place. And you can see me trying to airbrush, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, I signed the back of of all these with the airbrush, I think. Yep. <laughs> so, so that's interesting too. Uh, but there you guys go. I think that's good enough update for now. Um, I am gonna get up on the ladder, move some things around, start working on layouts for the projectors and get that going as well because I wanna get this in here so you guys can see the fish when everybody comes in right away they'll get to see the fish swimming on the floor so I've been trying to get that done for you ASAP um, but, but yeah a lot lots to come I know everybody's concerned with the livestock so everyone's like when are you getting fish when are you getting coral and now that we have our occupancy we can now have you guys come in so we will keep you posted check back on Instagram our Facebook page YouTube channel we'll do our best to keep you up to date on what's coming in and as everybody else gets more and more educated things will move move more smoothly so i appreciate you guys sticking with us till the end as always thanks for watching and happy reefing until next time If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralust community.